Do you want to know how to shape your brows? Well, stay tuned because I got you. Hey guys and welcome to my channel Hi guys, my name is Matamera Comfortly Boy and I am back with yet another video If you are new to this channel, you are definitely, definitely welcome And if you are a returning subscriber, hello, hi Yes, thank you for coming back So before I get into anything i would definitely appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button below and give this video a huge thumbs up comment and share this video with your loved ones your friends and your family and whoever you want to share it with so as you've seen on the title today i'm going to teach you how to shape your brows as you know we are with in the lockdown the lockdown has been extended and our eyebrows are growing everything is just growing everything you what's up hey everything skin is breaking out the hairstyles are giving up the nails are gone kubi 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 Kubi, kubi, but no, no need to worry because I've got you. And also, I'm going to be replying to the questions that I posted on Instagram and Facebook as well as WhatsApp. I'm going to give you the answers to those that I can. I'm going to answer your questions to my best ability. So without further ado, let's get into the video. When filming this video, I will definitely have to zoom in this video because my hair is very faint. I'm the only one who is able to see it because, yeah, when I try to um, do brows on fleek, when there is hair underneath, it's such a headache. I'll have to zoom in so that you see what I'm doing. So we're shaping the brows so that we can be able to do brows on flick definitely okay so the thing that we're gonna need definitely number one is a spoolie we're gonna need wipes yes you can use baby wipes you don't have to use facial wipes when doing anything with your face you can use baby wipes don't let them tell you no different there is nothing bad about using baby wipes and we're gonna use mandy's hair removal lotion if you have sensitive skin, please get the facial hair removal cream. Because I, eh, I don't want to be seeing problems out here, you know. Then you're going to need cotton buds. And I think that's it. The, the method that I'm going to be using today is, of course, I'm going to trim my brows using hair removal cream. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm also going to need a mirror. You need a mirror. First thing, you're going to use your spoolie. And then you're going to brush off the brow so that you can see where you want to remove the hair. And then, in the same motion that you use when you are drawing your brows, you're just going to go to the parts that you don't want so basically you applying it the same way you would apply your brows on fleek so you just want to remove the bottom part of your brow just like that i'm just gonna get more product and then you're gonna apply it over there, over there, over there. Okay.
and then now we're going to go to the top of our brow this is where you usually apply the foundation instead of the concealer just gonna apply it just like that please be gentle when doing this because you don't want to remove the parts that you still want yes and there you have it and then we're going to wait for six minutes for the cream to work while i'm waiting i'm just gonna put a timer so that it tells me but if you feel an itch a burning remove it because i don't know what's gonna happen but yeah if you feel an itch or burning just remove it then you're gonna put a timer so while i'm waiting like i said we're gonna be answering the questions let me look for the questions where is the question bring the question to me okay here we go the first question is how do you pick the perfect foundation shade how do i pick the perfect foundation shade okay when i go to the store i go there and i just ask them to refer me or to help me pick um a foundation because i believe that they are the ones who know what they're doing with all those things because they're working with them they've gone for training and all those things so they know which shade to choose for who so i usually just ask the consultants to help me pick a color and then if i'm not happy with the color if the color is too light the next time i go back i will tell the consultant that okay the color was not the right shade and then i'll also ask for him or her to help me look for another shade if not then i'll just pick a shade that is darker or lighter if it was lighter or darker but basically i just ask for assistance when i am looking for a foundation and then if i'm if i'm using a certain color with a certain brand like when i started doing makeup at a very very young age i was using revlon mahogany so i already know that my color is mahogany and i already know um the type of colors that go hand in hand with my skin unfortunately for me my neck and my face are not the same so it's a bit tricky usually when they give me the color for my face it is lighter and when i put it on i look like i have double skin or whatever they call it but yeah just ask the consultants and if you have two shades two different shades on your face and your neck you can also it's better for you to get a darker shade from the one that they recommend for your face yes i believe i have answered that question fully and then the next question i'd like to know how you do your eyeshadows First of all, I start with a primer and then I, 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 I go in with a transition color on my crease, on my, yeah, on the crease. I, I, I start with a transition color and then depending on the look that I want, I will choose the kind of color that I want on my halo and all the time, my brow bone, I always, always use a natural color. That is a preference for me so basically every time i start with eyeshadows i start with a transition color then i choose the halo if i'm doing cut crease but number one thing start with the transition color i usually hey! i touched okay yes i usually do it that way let me not prolong this thing 
my questions are not a lot guys so this is gonna be quick easy straightforward video you know okay this the third question what would be your recommended foundation bracket student budget that doesn't oxidize and is good for oily skin i don't want to lie to you i didn't know what oxidizing is it for those who are in the same boat as moi because tondra is on fire <laughs> okay um yeah the answer google gave me is the problem you're describing is a chemical reaction known as oxidation just like apples and other fruit will turn brown when exposed to the oxygen in the air foundation can turn a shade or two darker or more orange on your skin over the course of the day. So the answer you are looking for, my dear darling, is for me. Ne? What I would recommend is Maybelline Superstay Foundation. They say Superstay because it is very matte. If you choose the right shade, it's going to stay the way you applied it in the morning throughout the day if you have oily skin this is a foundation that i can choose for you if you are also okay, yes if you're on a student budget it is very affordable it is like 200 rands if you are lucky you can get it on sale at clicks so you can just look out for those I didn't choose Fit Me because Fit Me is affordable, but it does oxidize. As much as they say it is matte, sometimes it is not matte at all. So if you're on a very, very tight budget, you can get the Fit Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, Mad and Poreless, Normal to Oily Skin. But it, the way I have seen it, it doesn't really suck the oil that much. And also another tip, you can get Milk of Magnesia. It will help you with the oily skin situation. you i'm just gonna wait for a little bit and answer the last question because my brows are very stubborn and then now how do you know which shape of brow suits your face that is the last question um it depends on your brow bone before you even decide to shape your brow, your brow has already told you what kind of a brow bone you have. Some of us have high brows. Some of us have low. Like you see myself, I have a very low brow, but I like how high brows. So when I start doing my brows, I start from the bottom going up because I like them high and flicking end but basically for you to know which shape of the brow suits you is it boils down to preference it boils down to the brow bone so if you prefer um a low, a low brow you can for you to see which one is is which one suits your face i would i would recommend for you to try different types of shapes and then see which one you like most but as a makeup artist when i come to do your makeup i check your brow bone and i do not exceed or oh, i just go along with your brow bone and i shape it the way i'm shaping right now so let's go back to shaping the brows now we're going to use the wipes i'm not disappointed all right and we're just gonna wipe it off. We're gonna start with the brow that we started with. Okay. Yes, honey, come through. Mm-hmm. So you see? So you remove it. I'm gonna go in with yet another.
and then and then after removing that i would advise you to use whatever moisturizer that you're using i'm using the eucerin adjunctive soothing cream and the mattifying fluid so and there you have it we are done we have shaped our brows and we're ready to rock the streets with brows on sleep with no hair underneath ah! that rhymed <laughs> okay so that is how you shape your brows and now when you go and draw your brows you have a direction of where you want to go this technique is going to last your brows for two to one to two weeks um it doesn't last for long but um the other technique that i usually do which is very difficult when i do it on myself is a technique of using razors but uh, guys it doesn't last long i guess the only thing that lasts longer is when you do microblading or micro shading or something like that but i will definitely find out for you guys but thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for viewing please don't forget to like comment and subscribe you can hit up with me on all social media platforms thank you for watching this video i hope it was very beneficial to you i will see you next time bye bye goodbye adios